Let me ask you a question. Do you lose track of column headers when you scroll down a spreadsheet? When working with large datasets in Excel, you may often want to lock certain rows or columns so that you can view their contents while scrolling to another area of the worksheet. In this video, we fix that by freezing rows and columns in Excel using only two steps. So let's dive in. Hi, this is Andreas from Mellon Training. So our goal is to freeze cells in Excel to keep them visible while you navigate to another area of the worksheet. And the first step is to select something, in this case to select what you want to freeze. And step two is to activate the freezing on this selection. Okay? Here we have two header rows, and when we scroll down the sheet, we want those two rows to be visible all the time. When you want to freeze multiple rows or columns in Excel, it's very important what cell you select before you freeze it. If I want to freeze the top 10 rows, I need to select the first cell in row number 11. In our case, we want it to freeze the top two rows, so step 1. I need to select the first cell in the row number 3, so cell A3. Or I can select the row right below the last row that you want to freeze. It's exactly the same. Let's click on A3. So everything above the selected row will be frozen. Step 2 is obviously to click to freeze the cells, and you can do that from the View tab. So let's click the View tab, hit the Freeze Panes button. Nice! Then freeze panes. As a result, you'll be able to scroll through the sheet content while continuing to view the frozen cells in the first two rows. Now how cool is that? To undo the freezing, click the same button again and unfreeze panes. Keep in mind that Excel allows freezing only rows at the top of the spreadsheet. It is not possible to lock rows in the middle of the sheet. Now, if your dataset only has one row worth of headers, it's very easy to freeze the top row. You just go to the View tab, hit Freeze Panes, and hit Freeze Top Row. Then, it's now frozen and always visible when you scroll down the sheet. So, you don't need to select any cell like before. Freezing columns in Excel is done similarly by using the Freeze Panes commands. So in this case, we have a large worksheet with a bunch of data. If I scroll to the right, I can't see what's in column A, B, and C, for example. In case you want to freeze more than one column, select the column or the first cell in the column to the right of the last column that you want to lock. In our example, to freeze columns A, B, and C, we need to select the cell in column D anywhere in column D. Let's make it here. Go to the View Freeze Panes and Freeze Panes. Now, when we scroll to the right, you can see that the first three columns are always visible, as indicated by their thicker and darker border, enabling you to view the cells in the frozen columns as you move across the worksheet. But when I scroll down, actually the first two rows are also visible. So both the first three columns and the two top two rows are visible right now, and that's because the intersection point is actually in the top left of whatever cell you chose. So if I select this cell and click Freeze, these cells will be frozen. If I select this cell, these cells will be frozen. And because I selected this, you can see these rows, and these columns are frozen. Keep in mind that you can only freeze columns on the left side of the sheet. Columns in the middle of the worksheet cannot be frozen. If you learned something new today, then please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future Excel videos I publish every week on this channel. Also, I have something for you. I've made a free 3-hour online Excel course covering these exact topics and more than 30 hacks and tips. It's totally free and you can find the link up here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.